My name's David Fate. I've been in the horse business for 50 years. I guess I've been here off and on for probably close to 30 years. I trained a couple horses here when it was old Latonia, trained a few horses, and then it trained, changed to Turfway. Oh God, I mean, they've just went on and did well. Uh, they, they have, uh, you know, moved with the times. I mean, in fact, they were one of the front runners. I mean, they were the first to ever have the Poly racetrack. Uh, Keeneland had a training track, but Turfway was the first to ever put in the poly track and run over it. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to have the dirt track here, and I mean, believe me, we came away from here with a lot of bruises in their feet from the clods. This poly track has just been a savior to horses, I think. Horses last so much longer over it. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have those catastrophic injuries that we did. Then when cold weather would hit us, we might be We'd be closed out for 10 or 15 days, you know. We never miss racing here. You know, I mean, I, I think uh, last year we might have missed two days. Well, I came to the track in 1978. I was working for my dad. He's a horse trainer and gradually worked up to training myself. And I've been here, uh, I guess, what, 31 years now, straight through. And hopefully I'll be here another 20 or 30 if I live that long, so. Well, my dad had race horses and I kind of just grew into it, you know. It's, it's all I've really ever known, so I uh, came straight from high school to the racetrack and I've been here ever since working, making a living, so. They don't have these walls around. Oh, better horses around here, they'll make you run a lot faster around Kentucky. I mean, this is, this is the heart of horse racing in Kentucky, is, so you'll hook the best around here. You go to a place like Keeneland Churchill, uh, the best of the best are there, you know, and there's good horses around turf. Like, and this is where it all starts down here, you know, and this is where the, they come from. You gotta build them up and end up with horses that can go there, but there's gotta be a starting place and, and a place for horses that didn't make it to the top. Without that, there wouldn't be enough horses to, to really have good horses because a lot of them get lost in the shuffles. Now here's one that'll take you back a few days. Ooh. That's me. He set the track record that day. Kentucky has the best racing in the world. We just don't have the money right now. And a lot of our good horses are leaving this state because there's more money elsewhere. You know, you can't fault the people for it. You know, you, you're in this and you have a big investment and you have to make money. Yeah, we've been going to Pennsylvania this summer. The purse structure's double or triple what it is around here. So when I ship into Pennsylvania, you'll see eight or 10 people that's come from here up there. The purses actually have dropped around Kentucky somewhat. And you know, prices continue to go up. You just can't make ends meet with these smaller purses. And when they're offering big money, you know, hour or two away, you got to go for it. You can't just uh, stay here. And it's what everybody's having to do. They don't want to do it, but they have to do it because, you know, to make ends meet. Kentucky has always been the leader in the horse racing industry, and we're not anymore. We're way down. The future is the gaming bill. Uh, we get the, legalized the gambling here. That brings the purses up, gets all the good horses back in here. We still have a lot of good horses here. A lot of good trainers come here. And uh, you would have even more if we could get the money here. You can turf away and places like that fold up like it's the direction they're headed. Got to pick up and go elsewhere, which is the last thing I want to do, but I'm not really looking for a career change, so I'll have to go where I can race. <laughs> I mean, I heard 20 years ago, everybody would say, you know, horse racing is going to come to the point where there's only a couple major racetracks and this and that. And maybe they were right. Kentucky's, you know, I think Kentucky will always have some sort of horse racing, but it's just going to be, you know, the bigger tracks and the bigger races. There's not going to be any place for average to horses like that. So. I like the racing here. There's quality horses. Say that filly that you run and you might win a couple of stakes here would be worth so much more money on the open market because she did it in Kentucky than if she went to Indiana and did it or Ohio. That's why we have all those big breeders here. You know, it's just a win-win when the money's right. And uh, it'd be a shame to see them lose all that.